So today we're going to be looking at the Windsurf Wave 6 one-click app deployment update. So this is a brand new update from Windsurf, which was already a powerful model, but you can see what you can actually do now is start deploying apps straight away. So here's an example of what you can create and how you can deploy it. So you can just say deploy my application. We're going to be testing it out today. There's also like conversation table of contents. You can commit message generation. There's a Windsurf tab in Jupyter Notebook, additional context, improved MCP support, and two new app icons. All right. And this looks really powerful. Like you can see I've just installed it. So if you want to, if you've already got Windsurf, then you would just go to Windsurf, check for updates, and then download any updates you've got. I've already installed Windsurf Wave 6, so we're ready to go on that. But if you want to get access to it, you can. And additionally, you can see the changes summarized here, right? So the main thing is you can actually deploy like front end apps in seconds. According to this, we'll be testing that out and seeing how it goes. Basically what it is, is it's linked to Netlify, right? So you can deploy apps and you can build them inside Windsurf AI using Windsurf 6. And then from there, claim the URL via Netlify and then deploy that, right? And if you update the project, it should update send the updates to Netlify on your custom domain as well. So this is available to all users for all tiers. And there's also more options for pay plans. So you can do this on the free plan, I believe, which is pretty awesome. There's some new improvements to memories. There's this commit message generation. So you can generate commit messages with a click in the source control panel. And again, this is available. There's a new memories tab as well in Cascade. We'll come on to that in a second. Improvements to long conversations and Jupyter's support notebook as well. All right, so let's get into this and test it out. So let's create a basic app inside here and we'll do that in a sec. I've also got an email about it, but the other thing that you can do here is you can actually just go from local to live. And if you want to do this on your laptop locally on the free plan, you can actually do one new site per day, right? So it's included on the free plan as well, completely free. You don't have to pay for that if you don't want to, as long as you stick to the limits. You can see some other options right here. So let's test this out and we'll get straight into it. This improved dramatically since wave five as well. So we'll go into Windsurf and open this up. If you want to get access to it, you just go to codium.com. So that's code C O D E I U M.com to get access to this. And you can start using this magic right here. So we're going to test this out. I'm going to use Claw 3.5 Sonnet for generating. We're going to switch to, so you don't want to use the chat. Now we're going to open up a new window with a new folder just to start from scratch. And I'm going to call this, for example, SEO app, right? And I'm going to open this up, which starts a new folder, a new project inside Windsurf. Perfect. And then from here, we can start working our magic. All right. So if we go inside the chat, I'm going to say, okay, create a simple to-do list app. So we'll start coding off using Claw 3.5 Sonnet as well. And it's going to start generating the app right here. You can code in multiple windows if you'd like to as well, but we're going to hit accept and start running this and building out. You can see this also runs terminal. So when you're building out with Windsurf, you can run on terminal. We can also allow this to run automatically too. So open this up. We'll hit yes. Keep going here. There must be like an auto complete as well inside here, but I've not seen it inside Windsurf. So normally, like for example, if you're using some Visual Studio code, it will just run the terminal automatically for you, but it doesn't seem to be doing that on this example. So wait for that to run. One thing to bear in mind here is that it's going to take a little while for it to create the React app because it has to install the packages here. So you can see how it's installing React, React DOM, React scripts, and CRASS template, etc. So once it's installed those necessary dependencies, then it's going to start off and coding it. So let's create our main to-do list component and styles. What I love about this is like, it can just go off. And if you have an idea in mind that you want to build, you don't need to be a coder anymore. Like you can just go off, start building this directly inside Windsurf, give it the idea, and then it'll go off and deploy it as well. So you can see it set up the project files here with the folders. And you can see the different APIs that you get as well. So for example, you get Claude, GPT 4.0, 3.7 Sonnet, 3.7 Sonnet Thinking, Gemini 2.5 Pro, DeepSeek and DeepSeek R1, as well as O3 Mini. For me, I think honestly, Claw 3.7 Sonnet is probably the best or Gemini 2.5 Pro as well. Bear in mind, Gemini 2.5 Pro is usually a lot faster 
when it comes to coding as well. But I'm going to stick with claws on it for this just in the meantime. What we can also do is like we can run two different windows and create two different apps at the same time. So let's do that. We'll open this one up and we can actually compare like which one codes faster, right? So if we switch between windows here, we can run its magic. Oh yeah, we got the to-do list ready to go. How easy was that? It's also got custom instructions for my branding. So let's put test windsurf six, hit enter, and we've got the to-do list app up and run it. Boom. Nice and easy. All right. So now we've got the preview. We can also open this up in an external browser or open the preview inside Windsurf. So if we click on open preview here, it will actually preview it inside the project folder, which is pretty awesome. This just feels a lot cleaner and a lot easier, less hacky than using Visual Studio code. And let's see if we can deploy this now as well. So I'm going to say, okay, deploy my app. Yeah, look at that. So it's now going to pull up Netlify, which is awesome. Bear in mind, like you can't do this within, for example, Visual Studio code or something like that from what I've seen. So with this is a lot easier to deploy and just get it live on a custom domain, which makes it easier. So we're going to click on deploy here and this should deploy it to a subdomain, right? So we've got modern hyphen to do hyphen app dot windsurf dot build. And let's open this up, click open. That is not set up just yet. Here's what you need to know. And it's saying, okay, so it's going to take a little while. You can actually see it deploying in the, the app right here inside Codium. So if we open up here, we can see that it's in building status, project name, provider, etc. right? And then you can claim the app as well. So you get 24 hours to deploy the app and then you can view the deployments right here, right? So it's building out and that is super easy. Now it's completed. Let's see if that actually works. Woo. All right, app ready to go, peeps. So that was incredibly easy. Obviously, it's a super simple app for the sake of a YouTube video because we're trying to do this as fast as you can. But we've deployed an app offline in two clicks, right? And literally all we said was create a simple to-do list app. And that was it. <laughs> and then deploy it. Pretty amazing, to be fair. Like, that is a big upgrade from Windsurf. Bear in mind, like, you just can't do that inside Visual Studio Code. I know I talk a lot about Recode and stuff like that, but that's pretty powerful stuff. So you might be saying, okay, what's the difference between say something like Rucode and Windsurf, for example. So if we go to Rucode and we do exactly the same thing. So we go inside Rucode here and we're like, okay, create a simple to-do list app. Number one, like Rucode is free, right? Whereas Windsurf is limited, it's freemium, but it is free. And the other problem as well, let's go back to Windsurf and grab that command. All right. So we're just going to copy that prompt. Windsurf is free, but you have to plug in your own AI APIs, right? Uh, sorry, Visual Studio Code is free, but you have to plug in your own API keys. Whereas inside Windsurf, you don't have to plug in your API keys. It's all pre-programmed in here. Like I didn't add any of these APIs myself. So that's a big bonus, saves time. And then also we can't deploy directly, right? So if we say create a simple to-do list app, number one, sometimes the API is going to fail. So we'll just flip between these, see if that works. All right. This is the problem that you don't get inside Windsurf, but let me plug into Open Router instead. We'll try that. All right. So they both code locally, Windsurf and Visual Studio Code. But the difference is like with Visual Studio Code using client or Rucode, it's not going to be able to deploy it directly to Netlify. And you're not going to get like a subdomain like you get with Windsurf. So if we've built that app, which we're doing right now, we'll wait for that to load. It's not going to be able to deploy to a subdomain. We'll come back to that once it's done, right? And also, I just feel like the UI is a lot nicer, right? If you look at Windsurf now, it's pretty easy to understand what's going on, even if you don't understand HTML code, right? Whereas you go to Visual Studio Code, it all just feels a little bit techy, right? You got loads of numbers and loads of code and you don't really know what's going on. It's all a bit confusing, right? So that's a big difference as well between them. Now, if you actually want some of my best prompts, tips, and workflows for using Windsurf and for apps in general, you can go inside the AI Profit Boardroom and we've got loads of cool stuff right here, right? So if we type in Windsurf, we have a bunch of lessons inside here. So we have all these different coding editors and tools that we've used with Windsurf. We have loads of people inside the community as well. This community focused on making more money and saving time with AI. 
And additionally, it comes with like weekly Q and A. So if you get stuck with any of this stuff or you're not sure, okay, how to get started and you want to build an app, like this is probably one of the best places to get started. All right. So feel free to join the AI profit boardroom link in the comments description. Again, you can see like this API fails all the time inside client or inside Rucode, et cetera. Whereas inside Windsurf, you never really get those problems, right? And then we can switch between them. We could say inside here, okay, create an SEO, a basic SEO calculator app, right? And again, you can build something much more complex and much more interesting than this, but I just want to show you for the sake of speed and simplicity on a YouTube video and to keep things easy for you. But we're going to hit accept by right here. And now it's going to start installing this and getting React set up so that we can deploy, right? Now, if we change the colors on our app, so for example, let's say, okay, change the colors on our app over here. All right. And basically what we want to do is add some changes to this app. So it's going to start using a purple and blue color palette. Like you see right here, it's editing the CSS. If we do that, we should be able to redeploy this to Netlify and update the project, right? So that makes it a lot easier than using these other tools as well. Because if you make any changes, like you can see right here, we've changed from orange to blue. We can now deploy and redeploy that to Netlify, right? So you can see it says the changes should be immediately visible in your running development server. So now you can see, and it's updated the memory too. So if you have any preferences on like colors and brand colors and that sort of thing, you can update that as well. So if we open this up, let's see. Yeah, so that's updated on the local development, but let's go back to Windsurf now and we'll say, okay, redeploy this to the app deployment as well with the new changes. So what we could do is now send those updates to the new deployment. So it's using the existing configuration. Now it's redeploying the updated changes. And that was incredibly easy. We just click deploy over here. It's uploading the new files. And then on here, it's sending the request, right? So it's queued up and then that's going to send over to our subdomain. Nice and easy. All right. And if you refresh a page, you should get live updates on that. So it's building it out now. So it went from queued to building out and then it's going to deploy that. That's basically it. Thanks so much for watching. You see all the awesome updates. It's now easier than ever to code and build and deploy apps inside Windsurf, which is absolutely awesome. Also comes with other cool stuff like MCP servers and all sorts of things. And if you want all my best prompts for building apps, tools, ideas, if you want to join a community of people doing the same thing, and if you want to make more money and save time with AI, feel free to join the AI Profit Boardroom link in the comments description. Comes with all my best automation tips, templates, workflows, etc. I will add an SAP for Windsurf as well inside here. I've also just covered a new workflow with Lindy, which is absolutely amazing for automating emails, customer service, content repurposing across all your platforms as well. You can get the SAPs and the templates for that inside here. And additionally, if you have any questions in between the live Q and A's, you can post inside the community. We're updating this all the time. So feel free to get that link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching. Plus, if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how to get more lead sales and profits from your website using Google, feel free to get that link in the comments description. We'll basically give you a custom tailored game plan live on the call based on how we help our clients grow their SEO traffic. And we can just custom tailor that all to your business. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.